minute. My name is Jared Carter, and we're privileged to be joined today with Mr. Anam Ardashiri, a third year doctoral student in the Department of Transportation and Urban Infrastructure Studies here at Morgan State. And Anam, you've made headlines recently with some research, not only just in transportation, but specifically in parking. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? I have an idea about how we can eliminate the parking citations. Uh, it was uh, like uh, during one of my uh, graduate course here at Morgan when I wanted to uh, submit my term paper, I was thinking about to do something new, not just doing some uh, literature review, some routine stuff that usually students do for the term paper. So once I got ticket uh, a year ago for three minutes being late after the uh, uh, the meter expired and I was thinking how we can eliminate that $32 for only two three minutes late is not fair right so as a transportation engineer I tried to uh, solve this puzzle actually and uh, I came in up with an idea and uh, I submitted to the transportation research board in Washington DC the annual conference and it was accepted on, uh, there and that was the place that it attracted the attention of um, professionals and practitioners and even journalists. So uh, uh, many people interested in uh, this topic because it's a controversial topic. Parking citation is a big issue. Uh, Baltimore City uh, issues like more than three, around four million dollar uh, parking citations only because of expired meter mm -hmm. annually. And uh, so it, it's, it, we really need to think about that uh, with uh, new information and communication technology, uh, a lot of, like EasyPass is a good example how we can uh, uh, facilitate uh, transportation and uh, traffic. So uh, I tried to, uh, to make a framework of uh, how we can eliminate this, but at the same time keep the same revenue for the cities mm -hmm. who are really uh, almost half of the revenue uh, that they uh, gain is based on citation mm -hmm. as I collected data. So. Um, Based on the users or tra travelers' willingness to pay, I uh, developed a framework to generate the same revenue but not issue even one citation because of being late. And uh, the, the concept back of, his, uh, back of this uh, plan is uh, increasingly um, um, or progressively increase the uh, parking rate or the fee for uh, parkometers. For the first hour, for example, if this zone uh, is uh, currently one hour parking limit, uh, I, I, I want to uh, remove this limit, this time limit, and instead increase the rate accordingly. For example, for the first hour, two dollar per hour. For the second do second hour, uh, I make it double, four dollar per hour. For the third hour, eight dollar per hour. And it's incentive to keep the turnover, especially in business district, and at the same time generates the revenue. And uh, it's like a win-win uh, situation. Those people who are willing to pay, they pay. They use the facility. And those who are not willing to pay, they move their car, and the spot is going to be free for another user. So why would you say that transportation is such an important part of engineering as we, we think about sustainability and urban uh, transformation. Why is transportation so important? Uh, yes, transportation as a major civil engineering is important because it facilitates the opportunities for citizens, for people who live in urban areas and even rural areas. It facilitates, it, uh, facilitates the job opportunities the, it affects the housing option, job uh, uh, finding options, uh, and um, the reliable transportation helps to have a sustainable society because uh, you see the congestion. It's a problem, and it's actually traffic congestion. It's wasting the resources. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's taking too much of your time, and time is a big resource. Mm -hmm. So handling this issue and uh, finding solution for that is really important for a sustainable uh, society and uh, 
to improve the other activities within society, it's good to have a reliable transportation system. Let's, let's talk a little bit more about you personally. Um, can you give us some background about you and why you chose Morgan and how has your Morgan experience been thus far? My background is civil engineering. Then I got a master's degree in uh, uh, transportation engineering. I've worked two years in this, in this industry and uh, uh, I got very interested in the typical uh, problems that we talked about that and we provide some solution for that because it really was a big help to the society uh, improving the mobility uh, reducing the travel time this is the uh, really valued purposes that we should follow and uh, after that I thought that I need to learn more uh, this knowledge that I have is good but I needed more to deal with the bigger transportation problems. So that's why I thought it's time to pursue for doctorate degree. Mm -hmm. I applied uh, for a couple of universities. I contacted different professors and I found a very good professor here at Morgan. Uh, her interest area was close to mine and um, she had a couple of uh, real projects, funding available to uh, handle some real world projects, cities and statewide. So I joined the transportation um, department at Morgan State University back in two years ago, fall 2010, and this is my third year. And during these three years, I was involved in five research projects. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot and uh, during doing this project and visiting different uh, professors and uh, 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 different people's uh, in, uh, transportation authorities who really wanted to make things better. And it was, it was very good for me. Yeah. As you wind down your career um, and move towards the doctorate, what would you say or what would you like to see happen with this project and with your career in transportation? Uh, career is a little bit different from uh, what you're doing uh, as a uh, Doctor student, especially as a doctor student, you uh, you're exposed to many uh, transportation-related problems, and you feel responsible to solve them mm. uh, because you are in a position uh, in the society to deal with this uh, scientifically in academia. So uh, you need to be an innovative, and uh, as a graduate student. You cannot only go through the routine um, uh, procedure of the engineers uh, do. You need them, you need that knowledge, but you need to be innovative, bring your own idea, because every single problem uh, is different from what, uh, different from others in different cities. For um, uh, Let's talk about a single intersection. Mm -hmm. This intersection differs from other intersections of the cities because of the uh, geometrics, because of the people who usually drive there and uh, uh, m many other factors. So uh, your idea or your solution to that should be kind of unique to that situation. Mm -hmm. So that's need a broad uh, knowledge and view of uh, the problems and how to solve different types of problems. And there you have it, solutions, innovation coming out of the transportation uh, center here at Morgan State University uh, with Anam Ardashiri. I'm Jared Carter and this has been the Morgan Minute.